Okay, let's get this show back on the go. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Europe Universalis 4, and welcome to our, uh, continued Asterius campaign. We, uh, are really on the roll now, after a couple of decades of us getting beaten to bloody pulp in Iberia. We first expanded, got beaten down again, expanded, beat it down again, and then we finally secured some good allies. Started rolling once more. Anyways, let's get this show on the go. Current situation, we are uh, at war with basically entire Iberia. We had to wait. <coughs> we had to wait until uh, Portugal came out of truce because France did not want to join versus Castile. So, because they were friendly or, or what? But they, they want to join against Portugal, who is only having this province left in Iberia. Basically, the uh, script, the script that uh, makes enemies, uh, that makes AI nations keep half of their troops and half of their fleet in the home zone, is fracked up in this patch. This proves it. Castile had zero troops here. <laughs> Nothing. Nada. And it's not like they're standing on the island. I've, I've checked that. An AI in this patch likes to train their troops on an island. I've seen that a lot. And and they're really vulnerable. We saw <laughs> we saw Aragon placing most of their entire army here, and they were trapped. Yeah, well, to their down to their big regret. They're likely all in the colonies. I don't know what paradox fracked up, but yeah, overlying uh, AI rule sets over AI rule sets over AI rule sets can lead to uh, stuff like that. It just gets annulled or uh, fracked up. Basically, this became very easy. Right, chat. Sorry. Uh, hello, Saxi. Hello, Einstein. Yeah, we uh, we took we took uh, Sicily. Uh, the, the Malta from Aragon because it was an island. I totally forgot about Malta and that you can take it. And you can release Sicily from it and even Naples if you so desire. But since we're allied to Pope Man, we are supposed to be the protectors of the Holy Round to the uh, blah blah blah. And we have to stay Catholic. I was like, yeah, let's ally Pope Man. Pope Man took half of Naples and I was like, okay. In hindsight, I should have taken a province over here. I hope I still can. Why? Because we need to fabricate on the Ottomans. The goal of the achievement is to get all this state here and make a holy order there. The achievement is called Where is the Rum? So basically, it, they want you to conquer the rum back from the Ottomans or whatnot. I don't understand if somebody in chat has an idea why this achievement is called Where, Why is the Rum Gone? what Asturias has to do with rum or whatever, I, I like be missing it, but whatever. Castile uh, was allied to uh, Brittany and Austria, they got called in, we secured an alliance with Bohemia, and uh, yeah, well, as far as I remember, they were both airless. Huh, look at that, even Burgundy is airless. Interesting. Hmm, oh really now, what happens? Uh, age 27. It's a bit young. But I... Uh, they're really big. Oh, uh, if they were in the succession tier, I would do it. If Lunaberg would be flagged to get the... Uh, I, I just need to keep an eye on it. But 27 is a bit too young to marry if it's only for a dynasty spread. But then again, we have got diplomacy filled. I could break the royal marriage immediately. Not that it's a good idea for our aggressive expansion, but still, it's an option. <coughs> no, uh, it's a new tag in this patch, uh, Arcus Arcus. There's two new tags, well, three new tags in Iberia. Asturias, which is basically the north coast that is uh, bordering France and the Pyrenees. These three provinces are Asturias at the start. There's uh, Valencia. Cat Catalonia is not all this anymore. 
there's uh, it got divided in three tags. You got Catalonia in the north now, Valencia in the south, and Mallorca on the islands. You could play and uh, release Mallorca and, and try to make a pirate nation out of the islands of Mallorca. And Galicia, I mean, no, that's not a new nation. And San Galicia was attacked before this. They, they, uh, granted, they split the province of Galicia in four provinces, but it's not a new tag. I said it was a new tag, it's serious. Galicia is not a new tag. But whatever, that's nitpicking. So, I was going to consider whether or not we do a separate peace deal with Castile or not. I think not. We can ask for very, very much. Eh. Whatever. Galicia and Spain and Galicia and Turkey were settled by the same people from the same time. What's wait? It is that? Oh. Hmm. Okay. God damn it. I thought you were talking why story why the achievement is there. I guess I misunderstood you there. You're talking about Galicia. Okay. Galicia today is Celtic heritage? Ah, the only thing I know is that uh, before this time frame that all the north coast and basically this entire north area of France was once part of the uh, Charlemagne Empire, right? The Frankish Empire, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Well, I think France has this. <coughs> ah, the Pope Man went away. What? Why is Pope Man standing over here? Pope Man, come on, I called you in to go versus Austria? What does he do? He goes stand right there. What? Why are you. Game, please. Give them a, a siege command. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, Austria is over there. I don't know if I want to go fight them. Ah, we can't reach it. Interesting. Well, if Austria can reach us, then how the hell did he get through? Hmm. Did he cancel the axes behind him? Must be. So what is the easiest way for us to get there? Likely approach from here, but I want to go to Weed. Directly. Hmm. Ah, don't tempt me. Ah, Styria tag is really not big anymore. Ah, bad idea. <laughs> where are the days where Styria was like the entire south side of Austria? Ah, uh, there must be a way. Yeah, we can likely go. So we can't go through here, through there. We can't reach the roll. Okay. So, if we would go somewhere there and then ask access from you and from you? Yeah, let's do exactly that. I think it's a little bit too much. Eh, nah, I should wait and make two more cannons. We got time. Damn. Well, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, so we can full annex Portugal, right? Yeah. It's really tempting because I think Castile. I need to check this. In a separate peace deal, we could basically take it all. Everything. That's 93 already. And it's 114. Hmm. They don't want to do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Even though they're fully occupied, in a separate piece deal, you almost can never do this. So, 
Maybe I should consider doing the piece deal like this. Just uh, do it this way. Well, I want their full good state in there. Hmm. Ah, Coda Bun. That's 106. No, oh, that's not a bad piece. I would really want Granada, though. Because reasons. Kuan second wait, I guess. <laughs> Just, uh. What? Oh, come on. Really? Ah, whatever. Granada can wait then, I guess. The only done. Yeah, I don't want. I kind of don't want Morocco to declare on Castile. No. Well, then again, they might release. That's a good point. They might release Galicia if they do that. So if I make a claim down here, yeah, wait a minute, I think I will let... I think I will let this do. Ah, oh, planning ahead. Jeez. Do we want this state? It's 17. 17 and 16. Oh, it's not too bad. Hmm. Oh, well. Nobody cares, I think. Nobody cares. Oh, Brittany, minus 67. Because we're at war with Brittany, I don't really care. I don't really care. Saw it. Steel occupied Tenerife. Oh no! We're done for, folks. The occupied Tenerife. Gee. We lost. What is Pope Man doing now? Where, where did he... Ah, now he moved. What? Pope man, please! What are you doing? What? <laughs> AI at work, folks. What in the nine fracking hells, Pope? Could you kindly, very kindly do something? Why did I even call you in? <sighs> Whatever. Just whatever. Just. Portugal and Brittany, eh? <laughs> okay. Now, that's a big army from, uh... It's a big army from, uh, Austria right there. Maybe I should get Brittany out right now. They're a co-belligerent. I don't mind giving it to France, so... Hey, Brittany! Give it to France! Hey, Brittany! Hmm... Yeah, well... You could give this to... Ah, oh, no, that's me. Yeah, well... <sighs> Hi there, Great Britain! Uh, don't make me look at, at England again. <laughs> no, they don't gain favors like that. I could take an outpost in here and fabricate on England. Problem is, France has a permanent claim on this joint. I don't want them to break alliance over it. We could take like this province only, but it's 14 development and it's from a non co belligerent. It would allow us to fabricate on Great Britain, but I don't see myself invading that. <laughs> Not after they... Typically, if you want to kill England, you gotta do it early. <laughs> I need an idea. Oh, Great Britain. Uh, 110,000! Okay. And I want what kind of a fleet? 40 heavies. Yeah, we'll make that. That's no problem. We'll, we'll just invade that. Hmm. Still. Still. It would not be a bad idea to get an outpost in here. The thing is, I'm a little bit afraid of the, uh... 
Uh, okay, well, what base aggressive expansion does that give? 30. Hmm. Ah, In all honesty, I say frack England. We should be going uh, to Italy and east towards the Ottomans and not engage the, the English. We could play the Union game on the English. I'm pretty sure if they ever go airless that they're still willing to... Uh, yeah, we could always marry them. Whatever. I am not gonna take the outpost from Putney, I think. <laughs> What's the point? I'm just gonna try to do a campaign without fracking... Uh, killing England. There? Uh, yeah, the money. I don't think they got a lot of money. It's 36 ducats, man. So I'm tempted to give France a little bit more. We could wait. Does France desire the Ford and Finisterre? Yeah. We could let them occupy that and then give the forts to France. Hmm. Ah, kind of want them out now. Would not black flag these guys? Maybe not. I think. Uh, now we could release Provence from there. But... Eh. Nah. So they did not occupy this in their name. Well, I could give uh, Rene to them. Ah, uh, sure, why not? It does look like Mr. Uh, Franz does desire that. Yeah, we could do that. Why not? But they don't want it. What? What the fuck? They don't even want this peace deal. They're close to being fully occupied. Ah, oh, well, whatever. I'm an idiot. Hold the line. Okay, <laughs> to the last man. Right, we'll hold the line. Uh, we call everybody. Uh, let's stay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I know. It's likely. Ah, oh, let let uh, let Austria waste their time. Why not just take the money? Oh, you die. You're right. Because I want to be, I want to give it to my buddy, you know. I want to make France bigger. I'm not going to get the aggressive expansion for it. So, who cares? Ah, maybe you're right. Because it's it's distracting France at the moment. Ah, you're right. Maybe just go for the money. Fine. They want to accept that. Well, do we have to... Yeah, annul them with Castile. And... And all, ah, Portugal won't exist after this, so frack off. I'm just gonna go for that and a little bit of money. There, chat. Always listen to chat. Give my buddy France a little bit of gold. So sure. France will turn on me? Ah, man. We will uh, make them a nice puppet. I hope. Right. Uh... What do I even do with all these uh, fracking diplomats? <laughs> I don't know. I really wish you could say with the Diplo Macro Builder, yeah, do like, uh, improve it the entire HRE. BAM! Just because reasons. We're gonna start with all these guys. We, uh, saw it. Not that I need it, but, but you never know. Where is, what the fuck does Roisberg do around here? It's a big Roisberg. A platinum, and, and we're just gonna improve. You know what? I, what I'm wondering: Would it be worth my while to truce break them? Hmm. It seems like we. Oh, we could see after the. Uh, we could see after these peace deal. With Castile, how much aggressive expansion we actually got? But it might be worth it. No, we're not colonizing. I don't even have enough idea group. Nah, I, I am not a big fan of colonization. I only use it typically to uh, get tactical claims on people. Hmm. Let's see. If 
59, we're going to lose 15%. Well, hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. I was looking at that. 59. Oh. It's tempting. Yeah. This, oh man, I should have attempted to do it all at one. I, somehow, I, I messed this up. It's all different dates now. Oh well, we gotta check it once in a while, I guess. Add and make a donation. Right. Keep on going. Oh man, that Austria. I need to get them out. France is fighting their rivals, so I don't think the war enthusiasm is gonna drop a lot. But still. We need to go there. Where is that cannon I ordered? Oh, don't tell me it's it's behind. Oh, game plays. Fine, whatever. I, I just want to get ten cannons before we move, but I, I should be moving. We gotta move on uh, on these guys. We can still not walk there. Hmm. Oh well. How long does that take? What? 264 days? Why does it take so long? The hell? And here it's one... Ah, oh, suck this. I am not gonna fall for months. So how in the nine hells do we get there? We can move this way. The average supply limit is maybe 25. So... Let's make it... Ten, something like that. Why not? Just use those and move. And you just follow. That Austria is really moving. Now oh, look at that. France is actually sieging. Now the Pope sieging, and and and, and I'm I'm. Hmm. Okay, how do we... Yeah, I think the plan was to ask access from Würzburg and Bohemia. Mm -hmm. I just want to put them all on the capital of Austria. How did I get into such a big war? Wait, what? Oh, you're not talking to me. You declared it. <laughs> Watch him. Supply limit should be enough or whatever. I do want my cannon. The problem is it will likely never reach. Oh, you were talking to me, Naxi. Yeah, the reason was Castile. We have an ally in France. France did not want to join versus Castile because they had friendly attitude. So we waited until their ally of Castile was uh, out of truce, also meaning Portugal, and we declared on Portugal and made Castile full co belligerent. France wanted to join versus uh, Portugal, but not versus Castile. Just wait. <coughs> I, I read that. Oh, come on, what? I read that as Morocco is preparing to declare war on us. Hmm. It was Timbuktu, right? They were gonna attack. Mor this is Morocco is allied to the Ottomans, and I'm just really afraid that they will. At the moment I'm showing weakness, that they will try to let France dishonor. Ah, you got an air. 
Gut. Auf. Wait, what? What? Lunaburg? How did they get the dynasty from Lunaburg? I don't get it. Normally you need four four marriages to be able to get that event. Ah well, whatever. I already forgot what I was gonna do. <laughs> A little bit distracted there. No. Boom! France, we allied Brittany. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna cancel the axis. I'm an idiot. How could I forget? So, which one was it again? France is airless, Burgundy is airless. I need to check the tier once in a while. Ah, dynasty spread, I don't know, but yeah, if that von wealth it's really tempting to do it, because we can always break. But the problem is Burgundy if we break the royal marriage, we would We could make Bohemia into outrage status, which is not something I want. It's a diplomat. Yeah, on a nation like on a nation like Burgundy, I'm tempted to just gamble. He might die, age 28 or not. What do you say, chat? Do we go fish for a uh, mid Burgundy? You get lucky. Ah, sod it. I'm doing it. Go fish. Hmm. Yeah, I need to make a look at my points here. Um. those states. No. Right, and 25. Okay. France is besieging their terrain. What did the Pope do in this war? The Pope has just been running around Oh, that's an high. Oh, we'll play. We visited Suda. Then he went to Sevilla. Then he went up north. Then he went over here. He hasn't done anything in this war. Zip. Zilch. Nothing. He's just running around. Oh, that's a nice Dauphiné province. Yeah, let's go here. Oh, let's go. Oh, 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 it worked. Look at that. Okay. Installing my... What the fuck? That's lucky. We got lucky there. That that is really lucky. Hacks? Ah oh, man, it, it's all skill, you know. Hmm. There is the text message here. It's time to get this on the go again. Uh, wait a minute. Give me a second. Ta -da. That is really lucky, man. <laughs> he just died on my command. I said, yeah! 
He might die at age 26 or 27. Boom kaput. Ah, uh, don't tempt me, game. Don't tempt me, game. I could call in... Yeah, wait a minute. How does France feel versus uh, Burgundy? Rivalry, eh? So France would likely help me out. Forcing a union. Well, he might get a... Uh, he might get a, an heir any day. Is it worth it to end the war? I don't think Austria wants out of this yet. We don't have any occupations. No, I should wait. It's a really good chance, but... Shh, need... Wait, I don't think... F yeah, wait a minute. I was looking at that all wrong. Neutral. No, I think they will. Yeah, French opinion of Burgundy is minus 56, so they will join on that. Well, we gotta wrap up this war now, folks, and consider, do we want to press our claim on the throne and declare? <laughs> I don't have an alliance with Burgundy. And I would get Flanders as a union subject also, <laughs> if I force my, uh... Eh. War in Iberia is more important. It is more important. France is in the war with me. I wonder, would they join? Fighting in another war. Sometimes if you're in an offensive war with somebody, they want to join another offensive war, but it seems like they fixed that. Hmm. Well... He might get a cl if he stays airless for more, for a couple years or whatever. I'm gonna consider pressing it, but yeah, the war in Iberia is more important. Who are his allies from Burgundy? Venice and Holland. Oh boy. It's obviously a reference to the Pirates of the Caribbean. Y yeah, I, they just don't understand what Asturias has to do with rum. Where is the rum? I don't know, man. Historically, maybe a lot of people from North France, from the Asturias region, went to colonize the Caribbean. I, I don't know why. The, what Asturias has to do with rum. I don't know. And I'm an idiot. Because uh, we forgot. <laughs> okay. F fire the idiot command, please. We didn't put our three seeds general on me. Because we're an idiot. Right. Uh, wait, what is this one? Pass the act of... Yeah, we don't need this yet. Don't need it yet. Hmm. Okay. Watch France get my dynasty now. Ah, bummer. They got an heir. Oh well. Oh well. And I'll be lucky all day. Ah, look at that. First stick and we got weed. Right, so, uh, dear Mr. Austria, I got your capital, man. Could you kindly annul with Castile? There, and... Well, could you kindly give me war reps? Humiliation? Eh, well... We could humi <coughs> humiliate them. Why not? Is it worth it continuing for that? I just spread out a little. Hmm. No, yeah, why not? I didn't check how far they were away from low war enthusiasm. How were they away from low war enthusiasm? Ah, not far away. Yeah, then it's worth it. And it's worth it. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no! <laughs> that 
was too close. But we could take over the siege, but nah, it's not worth it. So, not, 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 not low yet. I don't want to fight his Protestant zealots in the mountains. No siree. Back off. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, uh, really now? Austria went reformed. Okay. So Bohemia will stay the emperor. It's, yeah, in case you're wondering, it's a pretty wonky situation with the uh, centers of reformation in this campaign. There are three centers of reformation right next to one another in the area of uh, North Italy. One here, one there, one there. And three in the H3. One reformed here, one reformed there, one reformed there. I don't understand why they're not targeting Bohemia. All the rest has been converted, but Bohemia not. So, uh... Oh, well. Are we low yet? Oh, we're low. Okay, Austria. Hmm. Steel. Reformation centers tend to avoid large nations. Oh, really now? How so? We drug? Hi there, by the way. Ah, oh, yeah, never mind. You spoke before in chat. I'm confusing. Getting confused here. Yeah, 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 we drug. You're right. I forgot. Am I allowed to forget? I know, buddy, that you said that. I suddenly remembered it. Oh, well, this doesn't look too bad. A humiliation and uh, war reparations and an all with Castile. Ah, sure. And we could hope Bohemia smashes Austrians to bits because of reasons. That doesn't look too bad. We can get some glorious PP out of it. Not sure, I'm not forgetting anything here, right? So, uh, uh war reparations, and all with Castile, and blah. There you go. So, yeah, now, the thing is, we just have to go back. We don't have the war score yet. I I'm likely gonna have to sit for ages on these guys. Then again, How much ticking war score can we get? Ah, yeah. Well. Ah, Burgundy got an error already. Well, never mind. Look at that! Burgundy flipped friendly! Oh, will we claim air? Oh my god, don't tempt me, game. Don't tempt me. That's the best situation we can dream for. I can claim their throne wherever, whenever with this we claim cloak. And my claim would last until this Philip Germandia actually takes the throne and produces a better than we claim heir himself. The king is age 18. We have decades to force the union on Burgundy. We got decades! We can do it whenever the frack we want. Okay. They likely got a dynastic event immediately. They might disinherit... No. Hmm, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well. Castile, for some weird reason, is still at three medium war into the... Yeah, he never wants that. Hmm. Well, we could take a little bit less, but nah, let's just sit on this. Yeah, the AI does use disinherit. You can see sometimes AI... Steal at the start, disinheriting, disinheriting Enrique. I don't know how Paradox programmed it, but in the old patch where it got introduced, patch 1.17, everybody was fracking disinheriting, and you saw unions all over the place. Then they tuned it down a little, but I think it's like, yeah, it has to be a bad air, as Chad is saying. Otherwise, they won't do it. Right? I wouldn't. 
Speaking of which, what is our air? Yeah, crap. Oh, not that crappy. We could consider disinheriting him later. Hmm. Maybe Pope Man is gonna go. <laughs> I don't know. Would France actually go occupy this? Probably not. They might not. Well, they could. How many transports are on my side? Yeah, France, in theory, could go fight and occupy entire uh, the colonies of Castile. At that time. <laughs> Whatever. Um, think. Do we need to do anything? They also consider the prestige. Interesting, man. It's very interesting. Okay, what about the days? What do you like? No. Because of too many fracking relations. Oh, okay. I want to get in your pants also. So, uh, let's mark all as our union. So, if he ever dishonors or if anybody breaks alliance with Denmark, I'll be notified. The Russians, we missed the dynasty spread, but yeah, we couldn't marry them. Fortunately, Lithuania, eh, oh well. Hmm. What do we do? We cannot directly fabricate, yeah, we, I did set this, yeah, as vital interest. Okay, we got a claim on Aragon. Good. Do we have to declare any follow-up wars here? The 64, nah. No, we don't. Steel occupied me there. Come on, don't, don't let me make boats and actually going there. It's kind of weird that they removed weak claims from disputed succession. Because, yeah, weak claim air. It used to be so that weak claim airs popped up in here, but they clogged it all up. Because of reasons, and then they removed it. Because of dynastic events popping it. Hmm. I wonder if it would be worth my while to actually set sail with my 10 transports and try go and invade Caribus. What happened to the boats? What do you think happened to my boats? We forgot all about them and they got sunk. Because we're an idiot, didn't you know? An idiot. Hmm. Oh well. Let's continue improving with everybody in there. Nothing other. Amber band. Because, yeah, if we're really gonna do that war. If we're really gonna do that war versus Burgundy, <laughs> I'm gonna need to improve with everybody here. To no end. Really wish you could say improving all the. everybody in the area, but. Nah, 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 nah. Gotta do it manually. I'm off tempted to stop paying for my troops because, yeah, pfft, whatever. What are you gonna do? Invade me? Well, I'm kind of wondering. Would Castile accept my uh, a 100% peace deal now that they're low? I sincerely doubt it. No, well, they still have yeah, troops. The entire army from Castile was abroad <laughs> when we declared this war. Fighting in God knows what. Uh, hi there, Isabel II. Hi there, Isabel II, who is fracking airless. Oh, great. Hmm. Oh, well, Brittany is gonna spread the dynasty to Castile if this continues. I doubt it. Oh well, I'm tempted to go speed firing sub this. And get the war score. Sooner or later, Portugal will accept that peace deal, I bet. It's only a one province minor. I should check it once in a while, I guess. Wait, Bosnia? Why did I flag Bosnia? Ah, no, it's because of dishonored alliances, yeah, okay. Hmm. So, Austria. Here's your rivals again. Yeah, we can't... Well... The 
Danes. Yeah, they rival. No, oh, they rival Bohemia. All oh, right, just planning ahead. Oh, well, never mind. What is the peace deal we made? Yeah, well, the moment we get a free diplomat, I'll show you. Basically, their entire capital state and some stuff in the south. I don't know if that's the best deal. But, but Okay, there we go. I'll show you. Kiev will annul all treaties with Russia. Interesting. Does that free up a diplo slot? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna send somebody to Russia. You never know. Somehow onto Armani or Goelis. This was the peace deal we were looking at. Yeah, this this is possible. We can full annex Portugal, get their uh, colonial thing and Majigabab nation. And yeah, Granada. No, we could go for Granada. <laughs> but yeah, frack Granada. Morocco might declare for Granada and release Galicia. That was the plan. But it doesn't seem like they got a... They got a... Well, whatever. Hmm. I will send you to uh, Russia then. Ah, well, wait a minute. How much would Castile accept right now? Nah. A separate peace deal, they will never accept that. Isn't it cheaper to take my claims? Yeah, I know. I'm a big spent. Uh, ah, you're right. Maybe you're right. What exactly? Yeah, okay. Frack this. Eh, I'm gonna start anew. There. And let's check all my claims. Bam, 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 bam. Kabam, kabam. That's 90 right there. Well, there. It is. I can live with that. It's not too bad. I can live with this. Sure, why not? Let's continue. Even this more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Yay me. Pom 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 pom. Okay, it's January. Can we take? Yeah. Okay. There. Can we take cannons? Huh? Why is Castile not trying to occupy anything here? What are they even doing? I kinda want the prestige guy. But, eh. Mm. I will take the tax guy. Whatever. Castile lands on Becher and your vassal stomps them. Ah! Well, I'll be there. Go, vassal! Vassal, I guess. Oh yeah, right. Improve. Ah, uh, I don't even know where we were. Somewhere around here, right? Okay, that's all. There. Did we do Frankfurt? Yes. Did we do Würzburg? Yes. Cologne? Yes. Dip March. Why the fuck is Dip March sent over? Here? Uh, okay, what? Whatever. There. 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 Reinforcing a bit. My vassal can handle themselves. Wait, my fortress in Suda is under siege by Portugal. What? <laughs> Air. Right. Go vassal. Improve it, Flanders? Yeah. We could do that. You're not wrong, but we still have to defeat Burgundy there. 
Yeah, well. I, I, I rather want to improve with, uh... I want to make sure that it's even on, man. You can understand. Dane's getting involved in the HRE again. Hmm. Burgundy is papal controller. Right. Okay. Well, la 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 la. 84. I think Portugal might be close to actually giving in. We're getting blah 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 as soon as. Uh, what? Hi! Kill them all! Hey, Pope Man, we got some Protestant problem here. Kick ass, Pope. Thanks, Pope. Such a good buddy, the Pope. Oh! Yeah, okay, it might be time. Oh, shoot! The Castilians have arrived! Oh, no! See that. France is already kicking ass. Okay. Kick your ass, France. Uh, I kind of don't want these rebels dead. So. Well, look at that, folks. Portugal is agreeing. Look at that. Okay. Should I alter the peace deal in any way? This is, uh likely the best possible peace deal we can go for. This is gonna make a Castilian zoo in their coastline over here. Well, fun times. 117% though, I'm gonna grant. The rebels only met one ensign for a Castilian peace deal? Sorry, I don't get it. The rebels will go ravage the land over here and, and maybe bankrupt them. And as usual, nobody cares. Brittany, though. Yeah, we. I'm gonna have to improve with Brittany. We are on a truce, though, so meh. Well, this is fine. I'm gonna take it. There. And Valencia is even liking. Okay, thanks a bunch. Oh yeah, we got a colonial nation now. <laughs> so, I kind of don't want to grant stuff to my vassals, but I have to. <laughs> uh, how much are we? How much was it? Six, 116, eh? Okay. So which province? Is, is all but Mercia enough? I doubt it. It's 11. And I'll just say it. No, we we're gonna give these two to uh, Valencia then. See no other way. There. There. See ya. There. 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 And I'll just say There. Right. And then go, uh. Kabam, 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 kabam. Peasants! Ow! Shoot! I thought they fixed this shit. What, why are they staying there? Ah, it, need, it needs to cut them up. Good! Well, first and foremost, let's send somebody to our fresh! Wait, wait what? Portuguese separatists! Oh, great. Portuguese? Why are there Portuguese separatists on... Oh yeah, because we full annex Portugal with those guys, but Portugal cannot break free from this, right? What will they do if they enforce? Make it into Portugal? That cannot be. Wait. Ah, the rebels are making cores of Portugal, so if they, if they collapse my colonial... Damn. God damn it. 
Wait, we're gonna get a Portugal over here. Oh, great. Okay, let's send some guys over. Reasons. Send somebody over. Likely gonna collapse. Maybe I should declare that uh, follow-up war on, on, on these guys. They're at war with Brabant and Lüneburg. Hmm. Yeah, because it's Portuguese call. That makes sense that they make cores. Um. Can we conquest? Okay. Yeah, but reconquest with what? Wait. Is there something like reconquest from. Yeah, from the colonial nations. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, let's watch this now. Is, is France in debt? I sincerely doubt that. No. Gain the merchant. Ah, tax chat. Right. Where we put him? We're steering here? Yeah. Let's steer him in. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a no-brainer. Put him in the Caribbean. Start steering. Okay. So let's recall. I just need to know if France would join. Yeah, France would join. And Holland is dishonoring. Right, because they're yeah, I need to. I need to do this right now because I can, uh, Holland is not even honoring. Venice, yeah, well, hmm. Could we ask Pope Man to join? Ah, we don't have ten favors yet. Eh, maybe I shouldn't have called him in on this war. Oh, Venice, pfft, pfft, I say. Okay, planning ahead. Do tell me. Mm. 46 and 54 force limit. France will kick their sorry asses. Idea groups. Give me an idea. Offensive. Mm. Oh well. They got morale of armies, but still. The fort situation in Burgundy. Ah uh, well. We got 37 prestige. I cannot allow Burgundy. Yeah, I, I need to do this now. If Burgundy wins this war, they might go higher than uh, 34 prestige. And we might not be able to claim their throne ever again. So... Claim the throne. It'll cost me 20 prestige, but whatever. I need to do this right now. And hope that the siege is not going to break away. I'm going to take a short water break here and consider, do we do it now? I see no reason why not. Ah, Burgundy joined, but oh well. France does want to join. <laughs> Be right back.
Right. Um, before we do this, I could break the royal marriage. The claim will not go away. We could also start integrating our vassals. That's probably not a... Uh, ideas. Uh, defensive and diplomatic. Yep. Hmm. No, we can wait a bit. <laughs> I mean... Holland is not going to get out there at zero percent, so it might be a good idea to to start integrating all my vassals. We got seven a month. I don't know how many. Oh, let's take a look. I think we can handle two at once. I just don't know. Yeah, don't forget to annul the marriage. Hey, yeah, yeah. give me a minute. Coimbra. That again. That's in Portugal, right? That's grey. Okay. Oh, that's not there. Show the diplomat. Sure, man. We are allied to France, the Pope, and Bohemia. We got vassals in Valencia, Catalonia, and Sicily. Basically, we kicked ass in Hyperia after a long period of trying to protect ourselves against the hungry uh, Castilians and the hungry Portuguese, we came out on top. We uh, had a really lucky dynasty spread on Burgundy. I was like, oh, they're airless. Oh, he's 28 years old. Yeah, we might get lucky. And literally a couple months after we did that marriage, we got a dynasty spread. Immediately after, he also had a dynastic event for a reclaim heir. And I was like, yeah, okay, let's force that union. France wants to join in on it, so we'll do it. But the thing is, chat, if I break the royal ties, tees, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be even less. Uh, the thing is, I need to get Burgundy. We got a young king, so that's not the problem. But you need to plan this shit ahead. Can anybody tell me how fast does breaking royal marriage stick away again, the opinion? Uh, I don't remember. Is it fast or is it slow? The minus 100 debuff only ticks away plus 3.3 .3 yearly. If I break the royal marriage... I'm just wondering if it's worth it not to just uh, take the stability hit. It's minus two per year. Okay. I just want to be safe here, folks. I am not going to break that royal marriage. I, it's an extra 75 opinion. It might take 20 years to take down. I am not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We're going to take the stab at it. What? How did you? What? You piece of crap! How are you not at 100 and... <sighs> Don't! I kind of want to start the integration of these guys. But you know what? We could, uh... Like chat... Retrog said yesterday, we can start the integration if I scottage him. We could scottage Vala... I, I don't want to miss my chance on that... Fracking Portugal, uh, Holland dishonors. Hmm... How much a month is this? Annex fast. Six a month. Yeah, well. And it is 416. Interesting. We got 575, I think. I can think we can do this. So 500, 1564. Sure. Ah. How much were they? Yeah, 0%. We can wait a bit. Wait a bit. And move our, our guys already. No, France does not like like what I'm doing to the joint. Yeah, how much is that? Use uh, their marriage to proclaim the... Minus 50. 
Can anybody remind me to take these two again the moment we hit 100? Thank you very much. Oops. I think I'm gonna do give them a small gift and then... Just need to know. Ah, well, wait. There's another way of seeing that. I'm an idiot. So, um... Country. I just need to know if Catalonia is bigger or equal in development. I want it, I want it to end at the same time. I need to know, do we, do we wait? Or not? Or do we first integrate Valencia and, and then start Catalonia or vice versa? It's always a good idea, otherwise you you just extend the period of minus 3 dip rep. Which I don't want. But it seems like we got to declare that war pretty fast, because I think France is going to declare war overseas if I wait a lot longer. So Catalonia is... Uh, 50, what? They're only 52? Really? And those are, yeah, okay. Scrap this. We're just gonna scottage them all. And then start it and make sure that it's, uh, it's the same thing. There. We first need to start, and now we can start it during the war. Oh, it gives war exhaustion also. Hmm. Shia Venice, is it worth it to full co belligerent you? And would it, Oh well. What am I looking at? This here. The thing is, we could take Venice from. Uh, but the Ottomans might declare on us directly then. I don't know if I'm in a position yet to go in the Ottomans' face yet. I'm not powerful enough. They look like I. Two or three hundred thousand troops here, but still getting the ability to fabricate on the Ottomans would be nice. Hmm. Oh well, I'm just gonna fire it, I bet, and then just there. Ah, no, not you. Damn. Do it, boys. They leave Crete alone? Oh, really? Hmm. Is there anything I need to do before starting this war? Is there anybody that is really big that wants to be friends or, or whatever? No. Chill off. Why would chill off on an ally? I mean, all people. Oh, Lithuania. Hmm. Oh, well, we're doing it. Let's go. Let's go time. So uh, it's, it's probably not a too bad idea to focus on uh, to focus on Venice first. Well, then again, they might not even be able to reach us, and Venice seems to be in another war. So, hmm. oh well. Bracket. Forward march. Maybe not do it on speed 5 outlooks, you know? So improve a little with you. Goodbye, Aragon. No, no! Ah! Thought I was walking through there. Yeah, they are owned by Tunis. They get permaclaims dispatched on that, on that, on those islands. Ask. Um... Castile allied Tunis. Okay. <laughs> Why are they suddenly allying only Hedons? Whatever game. So February 1567. 
February 1567. This this will be around it. February 1566. <laughs> Can anybody remind me any year <laughs> to start the annexation of the other vassal in 1560? Thank you very much. Okay, so who would hate it if I do horrible, horrible things to you? Hmm. Well, it's doable, I guess. Most of the top, the bottom people won't uh, get involved. Yeah, Brittany minus 49. Brittany is going to be unrepairable. Damage done. No liking me anymore. Minus 42 on 3 air. Okay. Yeah, that's on. Sure. Anybody else? Yeah, Bremen is like this is enough. Yeah, I know that ensign, but it's not a bad idea to start ticking it down. Uh, I mean, to look at it right now, right? I don't want a coalition to trigger over this. Augsburg, Augsburg. Didn't I improve it? Fine. Yeah, that's Wolfsburg. Where is Augsburg again on the map? Here, Augsburg. Yeah, that's over here. Ah, let's improve a little bit more. This will be totally fine. This is fine. Ah, shoot. Hmm. I kind of don't want to hit those guys. Because, yeah, I don't want to use my troops on them. I mean, that's good to it, right? Minus 21. Is it the only way to reach the capital? Yeah. Yeah, well, wait a minute. What? How, how is it? Wait, what? I see... 11, 13... Oh, just wait, wait. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw this. It's tempting to just stay here. Frack it. Boom, kaput. Oh, game! Oh, I don't have... Thanks. Th thanks a bunch. You're gonna force me to take care of peasants. That I really don't want. Oh. Please. Don't have, I don't have forts down there. Nah. Oh well. Dead and. Why is Flanders stuck in here? Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's... Wait a minute. I think these guys... In May we will actually lose 10% again. Ah, but it's so risky to keep him at 90. Still, I like the traders. Ugh. I do anything with those estates, by the way. Yeah. Money, money, money. Give me money. Mm. Eh. Mm. Oh. Mm. What? Ah, uh, the retrog. Uh, what? How does the HRE? They won't mind. This is fine. Don't. Oh, come on, 
64. Really? What? <laughs> right. Mm. I don't know. How well is Burgundy? As it as, as, as you know. Oh, we got better morale. I kind of don't want him to have that fort. But... France will likely kick him off, right? Eh. I wonder if Burgundy will abandon the siege on the fort to reinforce this. Ah, sod it. We're doing it. Ah, they do! A oh, shoot! Venice! Ah, oh, come on! Right when I do this, Venice comes? Really? Th thanks, game! Ugh. I shouldn't have done it. It's a bad idea. Oh! Shoot! <sighs> ah, at least France finished the siege over there. Yeah, go kick ass, France! Go kick ass. Go France! Yeah, such a good buddy. Are you sure you know what you're doing, France? Yeah, the morale difference on France versus these guys is just basically huge. This is insane. With nine fire, seven shock, and the king... How good is the king as the general? Two guys, ah, he's a piece of crap. Yeah, I need to reinforce that or France will lose it. Eh, come on, hold the line! Well, I wonder if I should be following Burgundy and wiping them out. They cannot route to anywhere we can reach, right? Hmm. Cannot. I don't think he's on the way to Venice. Wait a minute. Yeah, can we reach Flanders? Yeah, I think he's going to route to Flanders, but still, I should at least try this, right? Maybe he'll fuck it up and, and ride somewhere I don't know where. But yeah. I think he is indeed on... Yeah, he is on the way to Flanders. Okay, sub this then. Kick ass, France! Oh yeah, shoot. Eh. These guys. Come on, help. Oh hey, France. Uh, yeah, well, we should probably occupy Burgundy completely first. Before dealing with Venice. The Separatists on Pseudo cannot even siege the fort, so sod the Separatists. They can sod off. Sieging the war goals. Burgundy dying. Burgundy on the move. Did I deal with the Separatists? What do you think? No, we didn't. Hmm. Ah, that's nice of you uh, to leave Aragon as a one-province miner here. 
Why didn't he take that? Oh well. We'll convert to Karnlik. Okay. Fine. The Pope man actually took religious. It, are they scripted to take religious as first? Never really. Ah, and he took defensive. Man, the Pope is gonna be powerful. Religious and defensive. Doesn't that give a really good policy for morale? What is that? Religious and. and no, forgot. Wait a Uh, yeah, we were gonna improve. Yeah, why am I even improving with Valencia still? More gold acquired. Hmm. Well, let's just keep on sieging, I think. Hmm. Okay, I need a template for that one. Do we have 10 mercs? Okay. Template time. Here, create a template. Template name, level 24. There, uh, 10 mercs, 10 cannons. Oh, we could make it 25. Ah, whatever. There. So, please convert to the template, and the rest can just go to whatever. Hmm, bad idea. Hmm. Huh? Alliances break at ninety trust. Yeah, that's that's because they desire your land, man. It, is the guy, is your ally, are you bordering him and does he desire your land? Even allies at 100 trust can break alliance over wanting your land if it's a militarist. The only thing that's a big misconception, 80 trust does not mean alliance is lost forever. Only thing that it uh, ensures is that they never rival you. That is what it prevents. Nothing else. France m might actually hate my guts now, even at 100 trust, because we're owning the Caribbean now. And he might not like it. If I get a gold mine, France will not like it because he's a fracking colonist who wants all the gold. Wait, what, Nekarak? Hmm. Oh, France Comte is also a fort. Oh, well, whatever. Uh-oh. Bad idea. No, this was a bad idea. Oh, go back into the pool, folks. Yeah, uh, you know what? Sub this. Well, France is actually going to reinforce that. Interesting. Hmm. I did he arrive in time? 20th of February. Oh, kick their asses. <clears throat> I think we can... Uh, should I just barrage everything? I, I should probably fill out defensive a little bit more. Where ahead. Yeah, I should fill out defensive now. What is the policy again? I think it's a real good policy defensive, and, and, and but I keep forgetting it. Yeah, diplomats and diplomatic relation. Oh, well. Let's fill it out. The next one is for a colonist. A colonist, God forbid. Who the hell wants a colonist in this channel? Eh. Damn. The question is, do we barrage all the forts? It, it's not a too bad idea, I think. I just... Well, I just don't want... I want France to go focus immediately on, uh, on Venice. Let's just fire the guns. I'll be right back. Can you think of something? Okay. <laughs> 